I'd like to give you an update on 1207. For the last couple of weeks, I have been talking with Mel Watt, the chairman of the Monetary Policy Subcommittee, in dealing with uh, 1207. And uh, it seemed like they were reasonable discussions, but I never expected a whole lot to come from this. I've never expected uh, as much support from Mel Watt as I believe I can and hopefully still get from uh, Barney Frank. But the way the process works is a subcommittee does get first crack at it. What happens in the full committee is a different story, and we don't know exactly what will happen. But uh, there's no doubt that uh, Mel Watt is not interested in uh, 1207. And I don't think he's all that bashful about speaking for the Federal Reserve because that was in the conversation quite frequently that he was trying to satisfy all parties, including uh, the Fed. But that shouldn't surprise any of us. They are very, very powerful and very, very influential. But uh, the, uh, when he took uh, 1207 and marked it up and sent it back to me, obviously it was something I could not support. Although there were two items uh, in it that were rather minor uh, that uh, both he and I have agreed to, but it's not as significant as, uh, as it should be. Uh, the one part, though, was uh, having a time frame on when we could look at certain uh, procedures of the Federal Reserve. And that was accepted. But the fact that they took away uh, the audit itself, those numbers don't mean a whole lot except in one area. And that's dealing with the 13.3 uh, lending facilities that the Federal Reserve has more or less conceded that they're going to have to reveal what has happened there. But that is minor. Matter of fact, 1207 doesn't even mention 13.3 uh, there. We're mainly talking about an overall audit of overall policy and monetary policy and arrangements uh, overseas. So that, uh, ironically, actually helps the Fed, putting a time limit. I believe they more or less has conceded that we will get to know what's happening uh, with their lending facilities. But with the time lag on there of six months, it actually helps them. So as hap what happens so often in legislation is you start out with one goal and you end up making things actually worse. And that's what they're, they're trying to do. This would actually help the Fed uh, under current circumstances. So uh, my job and our job is to stick to what we want, and that is a, a true audit. Now, it uh, is likely to come up soon. And next week, we're supposed to start working on the overall uh, reform package for all the financial uh, institutions. And uh, uh, because um, Malwa is the subcommittee chairman, he gets to insert uh, his provision in there on what we're going to do with the, with the Fed. Now, uh, when he does that, I will have the opportunity to replace it and amend what he's done with uh, 1207, and obviously I will be doing that. Now, it looks like we have the upper hand, uh, at least on the surface we do. Uh, from the banking committee, we have all of the Republican members who have co-sponsored a bill, but we have 13 Democrats. So we have a, a good solid majority in the committee that should support us. But that's not always the way things work. Sometimes people support legislation for political reasons back home, and at the same time, when they have to vote on it, they vote differently when their arms get twisted. Uh, I believe it's going to boil down to uh, how strong a position Barney Frank takes on this. And I plan to talk to him. I'm still uh, talking uh, with him, and we have cordial relations. And, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to uh, you know, have to take a position one way or the other. Uh, so I don't think he's as strongly opposed to what I'm doing as uh, Mel Watt uh, is. So we, we, the, the amendment will come up. Uh, so if, if people can influence their congressmen and so you can figure out uh, which 13 uh, uh, are already co-sponsors, they have to be urged. Uh, I only urge courtesy and not uh, threats or anything like that, that the end of the world is going to come if they don't do what you tell them to do. I, I still think we have to work through this the best we can uh, diplomatically. I, uh, like I said, I'm not surprised this has happened, but let's say we are successful and we get it amended. We still have to bring it to the House floor, and then they have a chance to uh, water it down again. It goes through Rules Committee, and that's another place. It has to go to the Senate. It's having a harder time in the Senate. Then it has to go to a conference committee, and that's another problem. And then it has to go to the President. And even if it goes through all that, 
we still have the courts to deal with, and courts have never been friendly uh, to those of us who want honest money. They were never friendly to the people who held gold clause con contracts and believe the uh, government shouldn't renege on their promises. But nevertheless, this is crucial. This is really important. This, this whole thing might take a year or two to play out, but it might only take a year for the dollar to play out. So this is why it's so crucial. If the dollar doesn't last very long and something has to come up uh, to replace the dollar or have a new system, uh, we have to be in that debate. And that means we have to pursue this. So it is crucial. Instead of becoming a little bit discouraged with this or think that uh, this is very strange, this is really uh, rather, uh, rather typical. The special interest comes in at the last minute. And uh, this time it's the special interest banks and the big corporations who love uh, uh, to have uh, uh, inflationary uh, programs that finances, the, say, the military industrial complex. And uh, they, they will have to, uh, you know, come to a decision on, on what they're going to do. So I would say that uh, the process is working as, as more or less the way I expected. This is going to be a very important week. Uh, but the whole issue of sound money and limited government and liberty and the Constitution, uh, actually, that, that's, that concern is not going to go away no matter what happens in the next couple weeks or so. But we will gain a lot of momentum if we can at least restore the language of 1207 in the uh, uh, banking reform bill, which will be in the House Committee uh, next week.